Hello Year 9, it's Mr Lloyd here and I'm here to talk to you about GCSE history, about what we study, how we assess you and what history can do for you in the future. So let's get on to the stuff that I think you're going to be re really interested in and that is what will you actually study? Well we've got a really exciting brand new course for you starting in Year 10 and it begins with looking at the Viking expansion from about 750 AD all the way up until 1050 AD. This is a really fantastic topic, something new that we're going to be doing for you. Um, so essentially we look at who the Vikings are, where they have come from, and some of the places that they went to. So for example, you may be really surprised to know that they went as far as um, places like Turkey and the Middle East. We look at what they did as raiders and invaders, so all the places that they went to, like Britain, Ireland, Scotland and France, how they invaded and the things that they did when they got to these different places. We also look at them as settlers, so as when they travelled around the world and settled in different places like this country, but also seeing them get to Iceland and as far away as North America. And also we think about the uh, some of the different kings of the Viking nations, people like Fort Beard and Canute as well. So that's the, that's the first unit that we study. Now, the second unit that we will look at is the Norman Conquest. So you will have touched on the Normans um, probably briefly in year seven, but um, we look at it in a lot more detail. So we look at what England was like at the, before the Normans invaded, what Anglo-Saxon society was like. We then look at what Norman society was like before turning our attention to 1066 and the succession crisis. And we look at the battles of Fulford, Stamford Bridge and Hastings. Once the Normans have arrived in Britain, we think about what they did when they got here um, and how people tried to resist them. But then we think about how the Normans built castles all over the country and how they were able to take control through things like um, the Doomsday Book, through new laws and bringing in different languages. Now, the next unit is slightly different. So whereas the previous two units are what we call depth studies, where we look at a really short period of time in a lot of detail, the next unit is a thematic study and what we do is we look at um, nearly 900 years worth of history focusing on a, a particular topic. So as part of this thematic study we look at migrants to Britain. So we examine all the different people that have travelled to this country, um, why they came here, how they settled, the experiences that they had um, and what they have brought to this country. And we move through this period of time in a chronological fashion. So we look at medieval Britain and we look at groups like uh, the Jewish community, the Dutch and the Belgians who came here in that time um, and why they came here. Then we move on to look at um, some other different groups that came in the early modern period where we get um, like early African settlers and Indians coming to this country. Then we move on to the to the 19th century period where we get industrialization and we get more Indians coming to this country. We also get Chinese and Africans. But as, alongside that, we get lots of Irish people coming and lots of people from Eastern Europe. And then finally, we look at the 20th century right up into the present day. And we look at all um, the Britain's relationship with with Europe people that came here to escape fighting during the First and Second World Wars, right up to the arrival of people from the Commonwealth on things like the Windrush um, and people that came here in the 1980s as well. So the um, fourth topic that we study um, is on Nazi Germany. So something that I think a lot of you will really be engaged in all students um, really get into this topic whenever we do it. And looking at Nazi Germany, we essentially focus on what it was like to live under the Nazi rule. So we very briefly think about how Hitler established his dictatorship in 1933, 
before going on to look at how he controlled Germany and the level of opposition that there was. We think about the way that the Nazis changed people's lives, like the effect on men, women and children. But then we also think about how the war had an impact on Germany and what kind of impact that had of the different people that lived under the Nazis. Now, the final unit that we study is something that we're really, really excited about in that with this new course, we get to do an element of local history. So we're going to look at a specific site um, locally. Now, we, this may be Dover Castle or Folkestone Harbour. We haven't quite decided yet. But we think about this site. Um, when and why it was first created and how the different uses that it's had across um, history. We think about its significant times in the past, why it's an important site to us locally and some of the things that it reveals about everyday life. So that's a really exciting thing um, that uh, we're going to be doing and hopefully it will, it will allow us to get out of school for the day to go and visit these sites so that um, you can really examine what these places are like and get to grips with the history and hopefully give you an insight into something um, local and how our local areas changed across a long period of time. So those are all the different units that we study and the topics that's included within them. So how is it assessed? What will you have to do? Well, History is 100% exam, I'm afraid. So it is all exam based and you have three exams. So the first exam is an hour and 45 minutes and that focuses you on the British history element. So you look at the thematic study of the migrants to Britain and then you look at the depth study part of the Norman conquest. Your second paper is really short so that is only an hour long and that focuses on the local study so you're taking your knowledge and your understanding of the local site that we look at and they'll ask you uh, two questions about that site and what you have learned about it then paper three again is an hour and 45 minutes and this is your period study so you'll look at the viking expansion and then do the world depth study of living under Nazi rule. So although it seems like a lot of exams, um, it won't really feel like that because all the units are really, really short. There's lots of great short answer questions that are worth one mark where you just have to give something that you know. There's lots of short answer questions where you just have to write a few sentences to answer. And there are only a couple of questions where you really have to write at length. So it's really accessible to everyone and everyone should have a good chance of doing really, really well with this exam. So what skills then does history provide you with? How is it going to help you in the future? Well, history is a fantastic subject to give you the skills that you're going to need um, for whatever you do in the future. You know, not only does it give you an understanding of societies locally in Britain in the wider world, but you really will have to develop some independent learning skills, being able to work on your own, to take on large amounts of information, to be able to explain things really clearly. We also get you to do lots of critical thinking and reflective thinking, coming up with your own ideas, your own opinions, and developing arguments that you can put forward to persuade people of what you think and why you're thinking something. Now, we also do things like we, we critically assess sources. So you do lots of work uh, looking at sources, establishing what's a good source, what's a bad source, how it helps you to understand something. And we also look at different interpretations, why people have come to different conclusions about history. And that will enable you to think about why do people have different views and how can you challenge people's views on what they think and understand how they've got there. Now, obviously, because it's, it's a written subject, you're going to be able to um, organise and communicate your ideas really clearly. And you're also going to be able to reach really good conclusions and make decisions about things. So you've got all these skills from History GCSE. Then where is it going to take you? Well, history can take you absolutely anywhere. Almost any job, we can find a link to history and the skills that it's going to help you with. You know, people go, go into all of these different areas 
I don't think there really is any job that you could say doesn't have something that history can help you with. OK, so if anything at all that you want to go go into, history is going to assist you with that. OK, thank you very much for listening, Year 9. And I really look forward to seeing loads of you studying GCSE history in Year 10.